Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this web page with some text animation. So I'll just reload this page. And here we can see we have this animation for this text. And we're going to create this animation with a library called GSAP. Now GSAP has been there for quite some years, but recently GSAP has become completely free to use. So we're going to use uh, GSAP to create this animation that we have over here. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called GSAP text animation and let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create one more file called style.css. And let's create one more file called main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here in the head section, let's link our CSS file. And in the body, let's link the JavaScript file. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is uh, we'll create a division of the class of hero. And in that we will have this headline and this tagline. So let's create a division of the class of headline wrapper. And uh, let's create an H1. Let's give it a class of main headline. And uh, here let's type web developer. And then we need to have another division with the class of tagline wrapper. And in that we will have a paragraph with the class of tagline. And uh, let's copy this text. And let's paste it over here. And now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this extension installed, you can just uh, right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our uh, design is displayed in the browser. Now let's add some CSS and uh, make it look good. So here in the CSS file, first of all, let's uh, select everything and uh, let's set the margin to zero and let's set the padding to zero and box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. And for the body, let's set the font family to Poppins and sans serif. And uh, let's add a background color of linear gradient. And let's set it to 145 degrees. And for the first color, let's type 0F, 0F, 0F. And for the second color, let's type 1A, 1A, 1A. So this is how it looks right now. Let's also set the color of all the text to white. Right now let's target the hero division. So here we can see we have this division of the class of hero. So let's type dot hero. And let's set the display to flex, align items to the center, justify content to the center. And uh, let's bring these uh, one below the other. So let's type flex direction to column. And let's also bring this to the center. So let's set the height to 100 viewport height. Right now let's go ahead and style the main headline. So let's type main headline. And let's set the font size to 5rem. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's set the font weight to 800. And uh, let's set the letter spacing, which is the spacing between each characters. And let's set it to negative 1 pixel. Right now let's style this tagline. So for the tagline, we have this uh, paragraph with the class of tagline. So let's type tagline. Let's set the font size to 1.5 rem and uh, let's set the font weight to 400 and uh, let's uh, set the opacity to 0 0.9 right now it's time for us to add animation to this so first of all let's go to the home page of gsap let's go over here to docs and let's click on installation and if you scroll down here we have different options of getting gsap we're going to use Syrian, so let's click on Syrian. And uh, this is the script tag that we need to use. But we also need to add a plugin. So the plugin is called Split Text. So let's select this. And now we can see we have the script. We have one for GSAP and the other for the Split Text plugin. So let's copy this. And we need to add it to our HTML. So let's add it just before the script tag. And uh, now we need to start with our javascript so let's go to the main.js file and the first thing we need to do is we need to register the plugin so let's type gsap dot register plugin 
then let's tap split text. And now we need to target the main headline and the tagline. So let's go ahead and tap const main headline equals document dot query selector. Let's tap main headline over here. And let's also target the tagline. So let's tap const tagline equals document dot query selector tagline. And now we need to use the split text plugin to split all of these uh, into words or characters. So if you go back over here to our website and if I reload this page, we can see that here all these characters are being animated separately. But here we can see that each of the word is being animated separately. So let's go back and uh, split our text. So let's go over here and let's tap const split headline and uh, here we need to type new split text and then we need to pass the element which is main headline and then we need to add the type so we need to add it inside object let's tap type and let's set it equal to cars and also words so this will be split into words and characters and now let's target the tagline so let's tap const split tagline equals new split text and here let's type tagline and uh, here we need to set the type to just words and now if you go back to our website and uh, if I go to the inspector here if I open our heading we can see that they are split into different words so here we have the first word we have the second word now this was done by the plugin and if I open this we can see that each of these characters are split into different divisions and if I open this one we can see that we have all these characters in different divisions so this was all done by the split text plugin and if you open the tagline wrapper and if I open the paragraph we can see that they are split into different words because that's what we specified over here words or right, now that we have these words and characters separated let's go ahead and create a gsap timeline so we need to type const let's call it tl and uh, for creating a timeline we need to type gsap dot timeline now once we create this timeline we can add different animations inside the timeline so let's go ahead and type tl dot from now when we use from inside gsap it will animate from the state that we have over here to the current state that is set in the css so here let's type split headline and let's type dot cars for characters and here we need to add all the css properties so let's type y of 100 rotation x of 90 opacity of 0 color of white and let's also add transform origin so it will set the position from where the transformation that is the rotation and uh, translation and all these things work so let's set it to center top and uh, let's also set perspective let's set it to 700 you can experiment with these values and here we need to add this inside double quotes now from this we need to go to a different state so for that let's go ahead and add a 2 over here and here let's type split headline dot cars and here let's type color and let's set the color to 6c 5c e7 and let's set the duration to 0 0.9 and let's add an easing of power 2 dot out and now if you go back and if i reload this page we can see that we have this animation now all these characters are being animated at once because uh, we haven't added any stagger so stagger is basically a slight delay between each of the animations so here let's go ahead and add a stagger of 0 0.03 and this is how it looks and let's also add a stagger for the color so here let's type stagger 0 0.03 and if i save this we can see that we have the stagger for the animation of the colors and also the position so with that we have animated our headline now i think we don't need to have words separated over here because we are just animating the characters so we can just remove words from here let's go back and uh, we can see that it works now in the css let's also add an overflow of hidden so that uh, when the animation comes up 
it feels like it is coming up from a hidden space. So further, let's go back to our CSS and let's target the headline wrapper and the tagline wrapper. So here, let's go ahead and type headline wrapper and tagline wrapper. Let's set the overflow to hidden. And now for the headline, let's go ahead and add a line height of 1.2. And this is how it looks. We can increase it a little bit. Let's try 1.3. So I think that looks all right. All right now let's style the tagline. So let's go back and let's go to the main.js file. Here, let's go ahead and type TL, which is a timeline. Let's type dot from, and let's type split tagline. And uh, we have split it by words. So let's type dot words. And here let's add the CSS properties. So let's type Y 60, opacity of zero. Let's add a filter of blur and uh, let's set it to 16 pixels and we need to add this inside double quotes and let's also add a stagger of 0 0.7 let's tap ease of power 3 dot out so we have different easings inside gstamp you can check them out in their official website and let's add a 2 and here let's tap split tagline dot words and here in the 2 let's tap filter let's set it to blur 0 pixels and let's tap duration of 0 0.6 and let's and let's see how it looks let's go back and uh, this is how it looks i think we need to change the stagger let's go back and uh, let's change the stagger to 0 0.12 and uh, let's set the duration let's set it to 0 0.7 I need to display this animation a little earlier than what it is displaying right now. So for that, we need to add a negative delay over here. So I think we can remove the duration from here. So let's add a delay over here. Let's type minus equals 1.2. So this is how it looks. And with that, we have animated our tagline and also the headline. So that's how you can easily create this animation using GSAP. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.